Dr. De Vere's practice. How may I help you? Currently, no. Dr. De Vere has a two-year waiting list, I'm afraid. We can take your number and we'd be happy to call you just as soon as an appointment time becomes available. Thank you. Looks like a storm is blowing in. Dr. Delaware de Vere, I presume. Oh, yes, I, I am me. I, I guess that's me's name, my name. Um, Barbara Dr. De Vere. <laughs> this gentleman, Mr. Kennedy. Clark Kennedy. Well, he was just asking about your availability, and I was just informing him of your waiting times. Well, I just had a last-minute cancellation, as it happens. So, uh, if you're available now, Mr. Kennedy, then uh, I could assess you and your needs momentarily. Does that fit in with your plans? Perfectly, Dr. DeVere. Oh. Please, come in. Get on with it. Doctor, Mr. Lewis! Well, I'm looking around. No, not there, not there. Mr. Leibowitz doesn't appear to be here. So his unresolved psychosexual issues will simply have to go on hold. They've waited 55 years. I'm sure another week isn't going to make any difference. Insertion. Keep it down. I can see how distressed you are, and I'm so glad I was able to see you. Um, look, maybe we can leave the paperwork until we finish, or, or until you return for further sessions. I mean, many further sessions, which I'm sure you're going to need. My mother was taken from me when I was five years old. Murdered brutally, slain without mercy. Oh, just use that. I'm so Please, I think I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh. Feel here where my heart should be. My, someone does work out. <laughs> There's nothing there anymore. Tell me what you feel. I feel I... dead inside. No. As if my very being had been ripped from its moorings and tossed off. <laughs> tossed off, you say? Oh, that's not... <laughs> yes, Tom. Tossed off some deep abyss from whence it shall never be seen again, do you understand? Well, I'm starting to get the gist, yes. <laughs> I don't think there's any part of me I wouldn't trust with you. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Sorry, Tom. So very sorry. This is so hard. Well, it can be. I mean, I won't lie to you. You know, hard. It's it's some hard. It's sometimes it needs to be, and uh, and even uh, even uh, sometimes it even gets gets harder before it's um not 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 so. Oh. Mr. Kennedy, why don't you start by telling me? There's been nothing but darkness ever since. Uh, well, I think that's the end of our session for today. Shall we see each other again? Oh, 
let's go and move some clients around, shall we? I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank you so much for your kindness. Oh. <laughs> tomorrow it is then, Mr. Kennedy. Bye. Dr. De Vere, you have moved around over 25% of your client base to accommodate that man. I know it's not my place to say, but... And what exactly was your place, Susan? Ah, yes. On the receiving end of a disciplinary from the British Psychological Society when you came to me as a client, if memory serves. You know, I can't imagine that employment would come particularly easily to a... What's the technical term? Ah, yes. A blacklisted pariah like yourself? Could be wrong. Well, I'm sorry if I'm speaking out of turn, but knowing how crucial an ethical framework has always been to you... Don't test my patience further, Miss Hetherington. Now heed my words. No client of mine will ever see me cross that professional boundary.